Do you have one of the new Pioneer NEX radios? Would you like to be able to screen share your phone to the face of the radio? We're going to show you how, so stay tuned. So the new NEX radios have a bunch of new features, but one of the features that they did take out was the HDMI input. Some people are going to miss that. So what we're going to do today is show you how to get an HDMI input into your radio, or any radio that has an aux jack for that matter, so you can screen share your phone. So to do this, you're going to need a couple cables. The first one is from Kenwood. It's a CA-C3AV aux to RCA adapter. Now you're going to want to try to find this one because the way it's pinned, meaning the aux jack to RCAs, is very unique to these radios. There's a bunch of them you can find that are definitely a lot cheaper than this one. The problem is, is they aren't pinned the same. So what you end up is not getting video or not getting sound or not working at all. Second, you're going to need this guy here from iSimple. It's the MediaLinks adapter. What this allows you to do is go from RCAs here to an HDMI. Now the two of these cables are going to merge together. So the CA C3AV has female, this has male, plug them together, match up the colors, and now you have an HDMI input connected to the auxiliary input of the radio. Now depending on the phone you have, there's a ton of different ways to get your phone's content into this HDMI cable. For Apple, you just need a lightning to HDMI adapter. Apple makes it, you can pick them up. For Android, it can get tricky. If you have an older Android phone that may still have MHL, you just need an MHL to HDMI adapter. If you have a little bit newer Android phone, then you can pick up something like this. This is the Belkin Mirrorcast dongle. This allows you to screen share your phone over Wi-Fi. Now you don't need Wi-Fi in the car, this actually creates its own Wi-Fi network for you to pair to. Now it's just a peer-to-peer -peer network, it's not going to allow you to go online or do anything like that, but you can still use your phone's online network to do that. So you can still go to Google, YouTube and all that. It just allows you to wirelessly go from your phone into your radio. Now if you have a newer phone that has a USB-C connection, you may need one of these. This is a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Samsung makes one that works really good with the new S8s. Other manufacturers are a little bit different. Don't just assume because you have USB-C, it's going to work. Not all USB-C adapters put video out. So make sure you do your research and figure out what you need for your Android phone. So let's see what it actually looks like. For this demo, we're going to go ahead and use the iPhone. So we're going to plug an HDMI cable in, plug in our lightning adapter, and plug in our phone. So go to AV, select aux, and there's your phone. Now keep in mind, you can't actually do anything from your phone here. You do have to use your phone to navigate through. However, if you'd like to screen share something like one of these services here, you can. If you'd like to watch YouTube and check out the latest episode of your favorite YouTube channel, you can do that. Now you can watch anything you watch, but just keep in mind not all sources will allow you to shut the phone down when watching on the screen. Some sources do, like this one. However, some of them are going to require that you keep the phone screen active while you're doing this. So, keep that in mind. Alright, Fernando? Alright, if you like this video, please subscribe, share, like. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, also on Twitter. Watching the show. Yes. Alright guys, thank you for watching as usual. Make sure you check out our other videos, just like we're watching here. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you later. Bye.